Science College of Engineering, Tiruvallam, Tiruvananthapuram. Engineering is a design oriented subject. Design means problem solving. If you are a good problem solver, any branch of engineering, you have a lot of opportunities in the job market. Aviation sector or avionics sector, in those areas also, electronics and computer play a big role. So, all engineering graduates are going to get a lot of opportunities and especially those working in electronics, computer science and of course a lot of opportunities for the people working in aeronautics area. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. The satellite industries, especially small communication, small size satellites, communication satellites, which are used for even beaming the mobile communication. In the whole world scenario, if you look, the satellite industries are growing at an exponential rate. Other than the conventional jobs offered by government and private organizations, there are several other opportunities for an electrical and electronics engineering student. One of the major trends happening now is in the renewable energy side, where foreign companies are investing lots of money in solar as well as wind projects across different states in India. Today in our defense sector there is a requirement when we buy something from abroad, 30% of that product should be made in India. So uh, this is going to increase. So our job opportunities and uh, the opportunities for our younger generation people, it is going to increase. They are having a bright future. Another major technology area is the medical field. In medical equipment analysis, the devices which are used are blood glucose meter, blood pressure monitor. And these devices are being used by the common man now every day instead of going to the hospitals. These devices make use of motion control technology and these are designed by an electrical and electronics engineer. The aviation industry in India is very fast growing. You can see the number of airlines are increasing, the number of people traveling by air that is increasing, even the number of airports, more and more facilities are coming in the aviation sector. Nowadays, the aeronautical engineering course have a wide opportunities because the central government policy, they are planning to attract that uh, foreign companies to invest in India and the Make in India project is very familiar to everybody. And uh, moreover, it is a very good research-oriented course. So many research facilities are going to start and uh, most modern developments in CFD and uh, finite element method for structures, so many research areas are there. So, uh, moreover, it is the one of the most glamorous engineering in the world because it is a subject of an intellectual beauty. A student who pursues his bachelor's degree in electrical engineering has to study his core subjects, which are power system engineering, which deals with power generation, transmission and distribution, electrical machines which deals with AC and DC machines that is generators as well as motors and transformers, power electronics, control and instrumentation. So as he comes out of uh, his course, he will become thorough about these branches and his opportunities are numerous. Nowadays, electrical engineering students are also selected as industrial officers or technical officers in banking sectors. Since these electrical engineering students have to study microprocessors, microcontrollers, CPP, data structures, digital signal processing, etc., IT companies favor electrical engineering branch a lot. We are having an array of missiles. The missile production, development, design of missiles are growing at a very fast rate. We are having our own fighter aircrafts are being developed and being built and the electronics we call avionics for the aviation sector. A lot of new 
uh, companies are coming, manufacturing facilities are coming in the avionics sector and in the aviation sector. Many private industries are playing big role in supporting the, our defense sector. Our um, ISRO, where the space research activities are going on, a lot of aeronautics engineers are required for those particular activities. Students should not feel that uh, aeronautics branch is a very specialized branch and uh, it will not be a uh, job intensive subject because the very fact the aerospace this thing covers all the fields of engineering mainly mechanical the electronics and the structural part and uh, uh, the electronics parts also are there and uh, they do have will get an idea after completing the course the overall uh, aspects of the various fields and they will be definitely doing well in any field uh, which they pursue and uh, as it is the modern technology uh, the state of art you do not let them down and uh, one can feel proud of being an aerospace engineer in medical robotics several motors like brushless dc motors stepper motors and piezo motors are used all these are covered in the electrical electronics engineering curriculum and they get to work in the same areas Another emerging technology is that of electric vehicles. The latest trend is that of online electric vehicles, where wireless power technology is used to provide or deliver electric power to moving vehicles. These electric vehicles receive power remotely from cables which are installed under the road. Design and development of these vehicles also need electrical and electronics engineers. All these recent technologies will boost the demand for electrical and electronics engineers in the industry. The avionics and aeronautics, these two branches of engineering are finding a lot of opportunities in, in this area, in India as well as in abroad. So when you look in another five years, the aviation sector is going to absorb a very large number of engineers. And you know, the aviation is only 100 years old. It is very much in the growing. It is not yet saturated. So a lot of opportunities you can find in the aviation sector. Due to the uh, side effects of uh, global warming and uh, climatic change, the developments and research and innovations in new and renewable sources of energy, uh, energy conservation and management, uh, then uh, power conservation and sustainability, all these branches, are, all these sections are having numerous opportunities and hence the opportunities of an electrical engineering VTEC degree holder is never going to fail and he's always going to come out in flying colors. Also, if you look at the uh, education opportunities for learning aeronautics, there are very limited um, places. If you look in Trivandrum, there are only two engineering colleges offering um, aeronautics branch. India of today is becoming increasingly service and manufacturing oriented. This is where aeronautical engineering finds its true colors. And this is where aeronautical engineering has a lot to offer back to India. The basic sciences like physics, chemistry, science uh, or botany or biology they are some, nowadays like uh, words of, of a technical language. The technical language is engineering. If the engineering is the technical language, the words are the main basic sciences. And when you go to an engineering college, there are certain factors you have to consider before you join an engineering college. One is you have to choose a, a branch which you like. You should not be carried away by other people telling this branch will give you much better job opportunities and things like that. The branch which you select you should have some aptitude for that. In real life, an education in examination is quite different. The examinations, they have to uh, understand and sometimes even memorize and do it. Where in the real life, they are given an opportunity to do things uh, knowingly and with the knowledge, uh, provided they are being taught properly and trained properly. Two, three important factors when you look for an institution. One is the syllabus of education. Now in Kerala, we are going to have Kerala Technical University is going to come. So the, in the whole Kerala, the syllabus is going to be the same. And being a new university, the 
syllabus will be a much better syllabus. This was one factor which was determining the employability of the engineers coming out of the institution. Earlier our syllabus was not that good. It was not getting updated along with the industry growth. Now that factor will be taken care of by the new university which is going to come. So from the next year onwards, Kerala Technological University is going to take over. So the syllabus will not be a problem. So the engineering colleges in Kerala is going to fare better compared to many other states. Then the next is the facilities available in the college for the students. Whether good library is there, whether the workshop and laboratories are good, whether good buildings are there, these are all certain factors which we should consider when we select for the select the engineering college.